my name is kamini johari i am a floral designer from india at present i am in hong kong in floral art 2000 school of mr gordon lee in his uh, youtube or in the magazine you must have seen many different arrangements which are made in the container to keep on the table or or on the stand but today i am going to demonstrate you a very different concept of a hanging style which is hanging from the wall for that we are going to use this oasis called petite or you can say it is a cage oasis for this arrangement we are going to use different material we are using four dracaena leaves one short stem of cymbidium orchids two single cymbidium orchids few leaves of sella leaves cut in a single form few aurelias few sweet williams some dry creeper cut in the so small pieces and some i don't know we don't get in india but it's like a lantern like beautiful fruit of flower which are going to use this is a floral wire which we have cut into the small pieces like this and then we have made a anchoring anchoring for the flowers which are going to place in the arrangement this is a petite which you are going to use for a hanging purpose to work easily we have brought it down to the eye level if it is not possible for you to hang at this level you can tie some binding wire and bring it down on the eye level so that you can work easily for this now we are going to construct a abstract design for which i am going to put some loops first i will start with dracaena leaves So here I'm using a anchor pin to anchor my leaf over here. I'm using two pins to fix it, which are crossing each other to fix the leaves. Then I'm going to use second leaf to form another loop. which i'm going to staple it then i'm using third dracaena leaf to form another circle then we are going to use a fourth leaf of dracaena which will give a little bit height to our design and i'll staple it over here one by one and cover the oasis from the side we take the big big leaves on the base which will give a beautiful volume also sideways to the design like a collaring we are covering little bit up also we have put a little bit longer stem to create a nice shape now we are going to use a cymbidium market to create a focal point of our design just hold your oasis if it is moving and push it as far as possible so that it is 
staple. Now I am going to use the anchor pin to put so that there is a support for the big flower. Now you can see my arrangement is getting a shape. Now one more single sim medium I am using down but it should not look independent. It should look that it is from the same group. Now when you can see uh, there is an empty space over here, I am going to again put a single semidium orchid as if it is a part of same. So my fo focal area is I have covered it. Now I will use some other leaves which are Aurelia leaves to cover the remaining oasis. This will add a different color as well as texture in my design. From this side to look little bit more beautiful, we are using this flower but we have cut it short so that it should not come out of our focal area. This should be near the oasis. Just hold your oasis from the other side when you push your flowers. You remember that this is a eye level arrangement but you should not forget the bottom side. You should cover that area also. Just to add some brightness in your arrangement, we are adding small small sweet williams wherever it is required. As we have nearly completed the design, to balance this loop effect, we are going to use these willows, which will as a sheltering effect to it, which will give interest in the design and also oh, it will look very artistic. So we are going to use few of this. I go it higher like this. One more. I'll put it like this here. As this is a wall design, we should not end abruptly. So we'll have some falling trees.
trail like design downwards for this i'm using this sela lily branch here and i'm putting this this is actually uh, elephant grass which is made into this thin threads by using a kenzan the technique is different you can see in other video when you are starting to do this arrangement when we use a wet oasis so initially when you insert the flower stem inside some water is going to drip down so when you are doing this arrangement outside in the hall in a commercial places you have to take care you have to keep some bucket at the bottom so that that water which is go, falling down dripping will be get collected and the, your area is not get spoiled this is and for this arrangement you should not use very heavy flowers because the petal is small the like a protea like a bigger flower should not use and you should not use very big leaves so the small medium size arrangement will look nice on the wall thank you i think i i hope you like my arrangement thank you